A lot of things they take into account when you talk about being viewed as a top five quarterback. It's not a laundry list. This, this is a list that, you know, it has to be taken very seriously. Yeah, as Mike Vick said, it, it, this list has to be very uh, taken very, very seriously. All right, so here, here's my <laughs> five quarterbacks of the week. All right, so I'll start off with honorable mentions. You know we always got to have honorable mentions on this show. Uh, I think Trevor Lawrence uh, definitely played some really good football this week, but he didn't make it in my top five. Um, and just, hey, just because NAI guy, D2 guy, Tyson, Bad uh, Tyson Badgett, uh, or Badgett, however you say his last name, uh, played played a decent game of football, showed that uh, that the small school guy can go out and do it. So that's an honorable mention there. Uh, but no, I mean, showed flashes, played played fairly well. Um, but anyway, number five. Is I got the Gar Bears quarterback? Yeah, yeah. it's the Bears QB. Yeah, yeah Bears QB. Yep. Uh, sorry, number five, I got uh, Gardner Minshew with the Colts. Uh, had a 119.4 QBR, 305 uh, passing yards, two touchdowns and an interception. Uh, but what got him on this list was what he also did on the ground, uh, three carries, 29 yards, and two touchdowns, which was roughly a 10-yard uh, per carry average or 10-yard per – yeah, 10-yard per carry average. Yeah, he did have three fumbles, um, and that's why he falls to number five on my list. Uh, I mean, 39-38 game, uh, Browns pull that one out. Uh, but, hey, Gardner Minshew, number five on the list. Kenyon's over there celebrating, uh, jumping around for joy. Number four, Chris, you can start jumping around. Mac Jones. Uh, Mac finally appears back on the list. 126.7 QBR, 25 of 30. Only had five incompletions. I didn't check to see uh, what the drops or anything were. Um, but 272 yards, two touchdowns. Mac got the ball uh, out of his hands. Uh, was good at identifying blitzes, and that's the type of football that you need to see. That you need to see out of the Patriots, and that you need to see Mac Jones play. That because this is the Mac Jones that can be successful in the NFL. So Mac has to continue to do that, and that's two weeks in a row. Mac's played some pretty good football. Number three, this might surprise some people, but again, maybe not Chris. Number three, Kirk Cousins on the list. Maybe this is Viking bias. Who cares? Uh, 107.2 QBR, four, uh, 35 of 45 for 378, two touchdowns and an interception. The interception came on the second pass of the game, and that was still one where the defensive player still stole it away. But you look at the Vikings, and when I kind of talk about team report later, I'll go into it a little more uh, in depth. But the Vikings played almost pr pretty much perfect offensive football after at every point after the interception. And again, that's due to Kirk Cousins and obviously some additions in the run game that I'll talk about. Uh, number two, one of the guys that I said in the MVP candidate uh, conversation, Patrick Mahomes. I know we all get tired of consistency, but Patrick deserves to be there. Uh, 129, nice. five QBR, 32 of 42 for 424 yards. That led the league uh, in passing yards this week, four touchdowns and an interception. Uh, and, hey, Brittany Mahomes and Taylor Swift have a handshake that they need to start working on, all right? So and Patrick will continue to do that to allow Kelsey um, to work on that, uh, allow the couple there to work on the uh, the handshake. And number one, AC's pick for MVP, Lamar Jackson. Uh, this is the second week in a row that this Todd Munkin offense finally shows what we all expected it to do starting in week one. Took a while to get there, uh, but Lamar Jackson is the dude, or is that dude um, in the NFL? Uh, 155.8 QBR, 21 to 27, 357 uh, in the air with three touchdowns. He wasn't sacked at all in the game. And then you add that on top of nine carries for 36 yards and touchdown. And yeah, he had the fumble, but I mean, four total touchdowns for Lamar. Um, he pretty much did everything for that team. Uh, and thank you for throwing to Mark uh, Mark Andrews a couple times for my fantasy <laughs> team. So, I mean, that's my top five uh, list right there for the quarterback performances of week seven. Definitely let me know in the comment section what you think, any guys I missed. Um, and if you like the list, definitely go leave a like on uh, this episode and uh, come back for next week.